if she if you feel like you like you got one over on me because I paid for food or some shit or paid for your nails, you're a loser. That's I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of women do feel like that. Like a lot of people, there, it's a lot of losers out here. Hell? They do. It's they a do. lot like Well, bitch, because you gotta think a win is it, a win. Like was, anytime you ain't gotta spend no money on nothing, that's a win. Nah, it no, it depends. No, I'm telling you. It you is don't even, you don't wanna be some some women don't even want that on their face. They don't even want it to look like What you mean? It's some women that do not want to think that they can't pay for their own shit. Well, no no no. We never said that the if would you ever are, know if she No no no. If you We never said that if you're engaging with somebody who you don't even like for food, you're a loser. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Wait, no, 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 no. If They're you're, no, 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 no. I take that back. If you are engaging in a man for food that you can't afford, you're a loser. Well, that, that, take well, the you well, can't well, afford well, part what? out. Because women well, is Jordan, using men for food, nails, bags, well, clothes. What? Seventy-five to eighty-five percent of the women that's moving through the universe right now is, is losers because they're all using men for things that they can't afford. And I don't really know if this is my last time, but what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like the red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my local man, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. You going you see the clip. And I've se I've seen conversations about this in the last few days where we're not we're not really addressing the fact that sometimes she's a loser. And a, and and a, you know there are a lot of ladies who are young women and grown women who are losers and have loser mentalities. And they're trying to hide that behind men need to be traditional. Now I'm not about, I'm not saying that these that there are guys out here who aren't uh, who who are subpar, who are, who are who are not up to snuff as far as being a man. There there are. But when you hear these ladies, some of these ladies' complaints, we forget that there are uh, women out here who are not up to par as women. So. You know, you get you get these ladies like um, I saw a lady. Man, need to pay all my bills. Where the real men that they pay bills and like you grown, pay your own bills. So every man that you that you get in a relationship with has to pay your bills to be considered a man. So basically, you you would you would hop from relationship to relationship, getting your bills paid by other people, but they're in your name. You're a loser. You're a loser. Because basically you're trying to get with somebody so you can get a free ride, whether you're in, a, whether you're dating them, whether you're in a relationship with them, or if you get married to them, you're just looking for a free ride. Because being a woman means you're supposed to meet a man, and the man's supposed to to give you a free ride in life, which means you're a leech, you're a, you're a loser. And how how it's um, how it's taken that way, and why I'm saying it that way is because. You you've seen it time and time again when it's asked like what do you what are you supposed to do? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay, so basically, you meet a man and you and you can you on vacation for the rest of your life. You get to be on a recess. You just get to go get your hair done. You just get to go get your nails done. You just you know in all intents and purposes he pays all the bills. As a matter of fact, you know he has enough. He makes six figures and up, so he makes enough money for you you to buy takeout. Every night, or eat leftovers of the takeout. You know, you know, he got enough money to get a maid because you just can't do that because you need to, you need to rest in life. And truth be told, a lot of you ladies haven't done anything with your life in the first place. A lot of y'all been riding, being a woman, your whole f for the vast majority of your teenage to adult years. A lot of you who got your education, rode being a woman on it. You know, you, you cried when you, you you cried and manipulated and talked your way into into people's sympathy to pass some of your classes. Some of you slept with your professors to pass some of your classes. Some of you, y'all got into the uh, in, 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 um, in the job market from what? You know, affirmative action, you know, being if you're a black woman, the double minority thing, and then or you know, women looking out for women, you know, because women got to look out for other women, and black women got to look out for other black women, and now all of a sudden you turn around and you go, well, these guys ain't enough, and it's like, no, 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 because I shouldn't say I should have added to the fact that men looking out for women, women looking out for women also, right? So. 
Now you're looking for this 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 Superman of a guy because you've had the carpet, the red carpet rolled out for you in a, in a lot of scenarios in your life that, that you really don't realize and you don't care to realize that you're not up to snuff because you got your hand out all the time. Somebody's giving you something all the time. Somebody's making it easy for you all the time. So now you, you act like you, you're entitled to it. You're entitled to it. Now you think you deserve the world for being you know, below average. And some of y'all are like, I'm not below average. Let me, let me explain this to you. And some of y'all are like, I'm not a loser. Some of y'all want rich men and you're not good with money or you're, or, or you're broke. Some of you are calling guys broke that make more than you. You're and, and mad at him for being broke, but he makes more than you and his life is better than yours. You're a loser and you're looking for something higher than that. You're a loser. Some of you want men who are, who are healthy and in shape and you're out of shape and unhealthy. You know, some of y'all look good, but if you take the weave off or the wig off, you look like a cancer patient and you don't have cancer. You know, but I'm trying to get pretty for you. Yeah, 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 whatever. You're a loser. You know, some of y'all, you know, some of you are, are, are mothers and you had kids and now you want somebody else to take care of the kid. And a lot of times, a lot of y'all are losers as mothers because y'all want a, a guy to come in and take care of your kid better than you take care of him. Better than the father's taking care of the kid. And some of y'all could put a wedge in between the kid and the father or, you know, or, or, or use the new guy as a wedge between the kid and the father and you're still a bad parent. So it's like, how, how many times have we got to see this over and over again? To the point you see it in social media because there's story after story after story. Um, people are uploading uh, incident after incident, experience after experience. Women are getting caught cheating. Women are getting caught lying about, you know, uh, paternity. It's, it's not really your baby boy. Right? Wow, what, what are you doing? Well, why you got to film this? It's like, okay, you're a loser. You see, you've seen woman after woman after woman get on social media and softcore sell their body. They're, they're, you know, using social media as a way to prostitute themselves. And then all of a sudden, they're victims. You've seen women set men up, and then want some men, to, some some men to come to the rescue. You've seen you've seen women set men up, and want the guy that they set up to fix it. They're losers. You've seen women, you know, um, portray themselves as, as as let me see, as sluts, and then turn around. And portray themselves as pro-black, and then turn around and portray themselves as basically a ghetto gagger. Like in, in the same, like not that long of a, you know, a couple of weeks. You've seen women who, you know, have babies or, or get with guys and have children with guys, and then turn around after the children are born, say, you know what, I like girls. Forget you, and this is my baby. And, and, and if it doesn't work out with the girl, these guys need to do something better with their life. You, they're losers. You've seen women who were no good as a person, got with a no good guy, and, and, and maybe had a baby or, or created a no good situation, and then all of a sudden they got baptized, and, and now all of a sudden they're a victim of you know patriarchy or, or or evil men and it's like no 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 you was ten toes down for the, for the BS that, that was going on and when that BS came you know came to reap um came for payment then you cried then you ran you tried to run away from it but that's you you gotta live with that and now now what you're seeing is you know How can I say the passport bro disrespect thing where these guys are leaving and they don't like us and da 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 da, da and they're losers and at the same time they're calling these guys jerks and losers and this that and the third and there have been video after video after video of these women in all these other countries you know having sex publicly getting you know getting screwed 
publicly and privately get, having all these stories of having babies and STDs and uh, in other parts of the world. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and some of these women are, are the same, uh, older, out of shape, overweight, single mothers, younger, and, and everything is a girl's trip. And it's like, oh, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. And then coming back with all these demands. Screwing younger guys, screwing older guys. Yeah, it's just it's like okay, so so if he's a loser for traveling and doing sex tourism, and you're you're a goddess for traveling and doing sex tourism. In interesting. Some of y'all ladies are having sex with men that you know like other men, and then you and you are trying to I don't know what you think is gonna go on, but somehow you got the magic you know the magic box that's gonna change the whole situation, and you wind up what in a bad spot, and then all men are crazy and all men are down low, and it's like no 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 that's what you chose you're a loser for that, and now you want to date men in the future who only like women, and it's like you chose a man who liked men, stop it. You know, some of y'all like y'all. Some of y'all like to play the game. You like threesomes and you like women. And then all of a sudden, you know, and the ladies you choose are losers. And and at a certain point in life, your friends are losers. Your friends are telling you to 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 ruin relationships and ruin opportunities, and and, and have sex. You know, the drop of a, like sex, your sex and sexuality is going to fix every situation. And it doesn't. And then you wind up in worse and worse situations. So if, so birds of a feather flock together. And if the guys you date are losers, you're a loser too. And if you're asking for a winner because you're a loser, you're just a, you, you're trifling. And some of y'all got to look yourselves in the mirror and ask the question, am I really a loser like that? And the answer is, yeah, you are. It just is what it is. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Because, you know, he was talking about, you know, the dating part. You know, I need this, and I need that, and I need this, and I need that, and I need this. Why you need so much? Because you're a loser. You got a high expectation because you don't have nothing. You know, I, I was supposed to stop. I know. I know. But it's like, like a lot of you guys know, it's like going out on a date with a woman who she, she act like she's never been out to eat before. So she orders everything on the menu. You're like, we can do this every day. I bet we could do it every day on my dime, you lose ass broad. Because obviously you don't do nothing in your life. You just sit around and think everything is a free lunch and you just going to go overboard. You're a loser. You, never, you act like you've never been nowhere. You're never going to go nowhere because people are not going to keep putting up with this. But now I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, and die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had. <laughs>